Hello all, in today's video we are going to learn about TCP connection control. TCP is transmission control protocol of the transport layer where TCP is set to provide reliable and connection oriented transmission. For a connection oriented transmission, it requires that we have connection establishment, data transfer and connection termination. So we'll learn what is connection establishment first. In the connection establishment phase, TCP uses a mechanism called as three-way handshaking to establish a connection. The three-way handshaking uses the concept of sequence numbers, acknowledgement numbers, the control flags of the TCP segment and the window size. See, if we are establishing a connection between a client and a server, we say that a client is active open and a server is passive open. The term active open means that the client plays an active role in initiating a connection where a client will send a message to the server saying that it would like to establish a connection by sending a message to the server. Whereas a server is in its passive open state, meaning that it will not initiate any connection request. Rather, it will look for a message coming from a client for establishing the connection. Now, three-way handshaking. That means there are three steps in the connection establishment phase for establishing a connection. Let me explain you with an example of how we do three-way handshaking between a client and a server for connection establishment. The client is active open and the server is passive open. The client will send a message to the server. Now when I am telling that a client is sending a message, what message it is, in which form is the message, the message is in the form of TCP segments. If you remember, there is a video I made on TCP segments where the whole segment structure is being uh, discussed in detail. The TCP segment are sent by the client with every, as I told you, I will make use of the concept of sequence numbers, acknowledgements, control flags and the window size for establishing the connection. So, I will generate, the client will generate a TCP segment with some random generated sequence number, for example, 8000. And we will make use, we will set the flag SYN, synchronize. Now, you will uh, think about what is AS and all that. Just to remind you about the structure of the TCP segment, have a look here. This is the structure of the TCP segment where we have a set of control flags in the TCP segment. They are urgent flag, acknowledgement, push, reset, synchronize and finish. So we are going to make use of the flags acknowledge and synchronize for establishing the connection. See, uh, we have a segment with the sequence number 8000 and the client would like to establish a connection. So it is trying to synchronize with the server. So it will set the synchronize flag as one. Server which is passive open upon receiving this segment will acknowledgement the receipt of this segment with a TCP segment in return. It will give a sequence number to that particular uh, segment, some random number generated like 15,000 and it will also give an acknowledgement 8001. What does this acknowledgement 8001 mean? It means that the server has received a TCP segment with a sequence number 8000 and now it will it is expecting a segment further a segment with the sequence number 8001. So here two flags are set. What are the two flags? The synchronize flag along with the acknowledgement flag are set to one which means that the server would also like to synchronize with the client. Client is uh, putting forward the hand to shake with server. Server is also putting forward its hand. Okay. So there is handshaking going on but it is three way. So here the server will acknowledge the receipt of the synchronized segment and the server will also send a synchronized segment with the SYN flag as well as the acknowledgement flag set to one. Upon 
these this segment received by the client the client we are not taking a, any other new number for this uh, uh, segment the same uh, sequence number we are using we are acknowledging 15001 what does it mean it means that i have received the client has received a tcp segment with Sequence number 15,000. In future, it will be expecting a sequence number with 15,001. And it will set the acknowledgement flag as 1. Which means that it has acknowledged the request of server for synchronization. Thus, here, connection between the client and the server is established. So, this is three-way handshaking. The connection is established. The client will send synchronize request to the server the server will acknowledge and will also send the synchronized uh, request and then the client will acknowledge the synchronized request of the server thus the connection is established this is connection establishment now after connection establishment what does happen data transfer will take place after connection is established bidirectional data transfer takes place meaning the data transfer from the client to the server and from the server to the client data transfer takes place both data as well as acknowledgements are being transmitted generally the acknowledgements are piggybacked with the data that means we do piggybacking let us see an example of data transfer phase now when that the connection is established and the sequence number of the segment for connection establishment was 8000 the next sequence number will be incremented so it will be 8001 where acknowledgement number here is 15001 you can see here it was expect it is acknowledging 15001 here what it it received from the server Okay, and we, we will set the acknowledgement flag and the push flag equals to 1. So, this segment is acknowledging the receipt of the segment 15,000 and in future it is expecting 15,001 and it is pushing. I told you we are using a flag called as push also, meaning pushing the data. So, the push flag is uh, set where we are pushing 1000 bytes of data in the segment okay to the server and again it has more data to send so the sequence number now the last was 9000 now the sequence number will be 9001 the segment is 9001 where the sequence uh, again it is having the same acknowledgement number what it received from the server and it will acknowledgement and the push flag are set to one where it will push another thousand bytes of data to the server and then the server will acknowledge the receipt of 2000 bytes of data where it is receiving data till 10,000. So, what it does, it receives data till 10,000 and it will send an acknowledgement as 10,001 telling that I received data till 10,000. Now, I will be expecting data with the sequence number 10,001. So, you see acknowledgement number is 10,001. Okay, and as it was expect, as the client was expecting a segment with 15,001, the server will also send a segment with uh, the sequence number 15,001. And here you see it is acknowledging the receipt of 2,000 bytes from the client as well as it is pushing, as well as it is pushing 2,000 bytes of data at a time to the client. Okay, so what the client does now, data transfer is taking place. 2,000 bytes. Uh, client has sent to server 1000 bytes again client has sent to server then again server is sending 2000 bytes of data to the client and the client here is acknowledging here it is only sending so now in this case you see here in this case the server is sending 2000 byte of data as well as it is acknowledging the receipt of 2000 bytes of data that means in one segment you are sending the data as well as acknowledgement this is what is called as piggybacking the acknowledgement is getting a free ride on the data frame, uh, data segment. Okay, here what is happening? The client is acknowledging the receipt of 2000 bytes of data till 17000 and now it is expecting a uh, uh, segment with the sequence number 17001. And here we make use of window size, meaning that the window size is 10,000. You are telling the server, or that the window size of the client is 
only 10,000. You cannot send beyond this. So, this is your data transfer. Once you have finished the data transfer, you would like to terminate the connection because I, as I told you, TCP to provide connection oriented transmission, it should do connection establishment, data transfer and connection termination. Connection termination is closing the connection and this also is initiated generally by the client where the client doesn't want to exchange any more data and would like to close the connection. And this is done using the FIN flag, finish flag in the control flag specified in the TCP segment. You can see in the TCP segment, we have the finish flag used for terminating the connection. See an example of connection termination where the client is initiating a request by setting the finish flag to one. The server which is passive close server you know not uh, it, it has not initiated so it will always be passive and client will be active in a passive close attempt the server will acknowledge its uh, um, acknowledge the receipt of the finished segment and where finished value and uh, acknowledgement flag will be set to one meaning that it would also like to finish the connection or terminate the connection here it is acknowledging the receipt of finish request from the client and as well as it is also sending a, uh, the re, uh, request for finish from the server side. So what happens here? This is also three-way handshaking. Client is sell, telling to the server finish. Server is also telling to client finish and I acknowledge your finish attempt. Okay and then the uh, client is telling okay I acknowledge your finish attempt and then the connection will be terminated. The client will acknowledge the receipt of the finish uh, segment from the server and the connection will be terminated. We have something called as four-way handshaking. In exam, they can ask you three-way handshaking or separately they can ask you four-way handshaking which is using half-close. Now, what is this half-close? It's something like that, that the client and server are communicating. The client doesn't want to send any more data, so it would like to close the connection. But the server would have, would still have data to send to the client where client is only uh, wants to stop sending data. It is, it has no restrictions on receiving the data. So what uh, this situation is called as half close where the one end can stop sending the data, but it will, it would still receive the data. This is called as half close. Okay. So half close is also generally initiated by the client. So you can see here the Client is active close, meaning it would like to actively close. Finish is equals to 1. So the server will acknowledge. You can see here, it is not sending finish flag because it doesn't want to close the connection. It has more data to send. So what happens? It will only acknowledge the receipt of the finish segment and it, it whatever data it has that has to be sent to the client, the data transmission will take place. And, you know, client after sending finish, it cannot send the data, but though it can send acknowledgement uh, to the server. So data transfer, data segments transfer and acknowledgements can take place between the client and server during half close. And when the server has now completed uh, to send data to the client would also now like to uh, finish the connection. So it will uh, send a finish flag set to one and then here the client will acknowledge the finish connection and then the connection is terminated. This is called as four-way handshaking where I have handshake one, handshake two, handshake three and handshake four. This is called as four-way handshaking using half close. So this was about TCP connection control. Uh, this is this was about the TCP connection control with connection establishment, data transfer and connection termination. Thank you.